Hello, I'm MK Davis. Uh, it's kind of a rainy, stormy day today. Uh, I've got a little time to sit down and, and discuss the Patterson film. I've got something I'd like to show you uh, regarding uh, the arm and and particularly the left arm uh, and the uh, digits uh, of the left hand. Uh, I know a lot's been said about this film. Uh, people claim to have been the man in the suit, etc., etc., but uh, uh, one of the main most uh, ones, uh, one of the most who had the most impact, saying he was the man in the suit, who uh, happened to be a friend of uh, uh, Roger Patterson and Bob Gimlin at the time, Bob Aronimus, uh, there in Yakima, Washington, said that he wore a glove. Uh, of course, I already knew about this file when he said that. Um, and obviously he didn't know the file exists, so I'll show it to you. Uh, first, let's start out with a group of stills. Now, this is a collage of stills from the Patterson film. And they uh, it just together, I mean, just as a still, one after another after another, doesn't seem to show a lot of detail along that arm. Um, it's when you... When you put them together into an animated sequence and you stabilize them by bringing the arm together, lining the arm up where nothing moves up and down the arm. I'm talking about the arm is stable and lined each frame. So in other words, like if I wanted to line this arm up on this frame, with this arm up on this frame, I would have to bring this entire photo around to where the arms had the same angle so that they there would only be one plane of motion. Uh, it's very difficult to concentrate on more than one plane of motion and that's why a lot of this, this stuff gets missed uh, when analyzing this film. Uh, so you have to eliminate all other planes of motion so that you can see what's going on up and down the arm here. So uh, I'll, I'll, uh, without further ado, I'll switch over to the animated sequences. Now, here's the same set of frames, and they are they are lined up. You see that they're here's the the listing of the frames, and they will play at about 18 frames per second, and they are lined up to where the arm does not move it just simply sits there and anything that moves on that arm or on the end of the arm where the digits are the hand becomes more obvious because it's the only plane of motion so let's watch this as it runs pay particular attention to this area right here now what do you see right there where my cursor is right there now, <laughs> I don't know about you, but that looks a lot like a thumb to me. And a thumb not only being there, but in motion. Uh, if you'll look at these fingers, they roll over a little bit on the end of the hand. Uh, that's because it's been stabilized. Uh, what your the, the motion of this thumb, although it looks like that it's going up and down the arm, it's really round and round. Um, if, if you could follow it in real life film, you know, that's unstabilized, which would be difficult to do, uh, you would see that the thumb does something like this right here. It rotates. Uh, and that would be something that people do when they get very anxious or nervous. You know, they roll that thumb around and around unconsciously. So, uh, that's kind of what you're seeing there. Let's go to a a, an enlargement of that. As a matter of fact, I'll just uh, blow it up a little bit right here. Fifty, another fifty percent. And there we go. Now let's watch it run. See the movement right in there? You still see the other fingers. The other fingers are rolling up and down. Thumb is stabilized. 
So I, I hope that you can see, you know, as I saw when I first uh, did this work on the film, that I was looking at something that was living and not not a prosthetic or or uh, or glove or anything like that. So uh, you know, I, I guess I'll uh, leave it at that. But I hope this helps uh, when you're looking at the film. You know, uh, that you're looking at something that you know that's got these living features on it.